These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're gonna be here after. Welcome to Jurassic World. The first set piece of the film is an underwater set piece. And there's never been an underwater set piece in a Jurassic movie. So it's sort of a statement. It's like, don't expect what you, what you, we, we, we want to surprise you. Don't, don't expect the, the usual. We're bringing something different. <laughs> the most important quality in Jay is that he has a need to make the audience feel what he's feeling. And feelings are complex. They're very, of very different nature. So that's why Jay's movies always keep mixing genres, because nothing is black or white, and uh, the complexity of the human beings is the, the interesting part of any story. So when it came to Jurassic, you can feel that there's a potential for adventure and drama and intellectuality and questions for the audience and conflicts and being scared and uh, having fun. So that, that combination of so many different uh, feelings that you can get when you see a Jurassic movie, that, that was perfect for Jay. Hey, Blue, you know me. Come with me. You know you can't stay here. Back your man up right now. When he gets to set, he really wants to catch the moment. So everything has to work to get to that objective. So for that, he uses whatever he has at hand. He plays a lot of music every time with every scene, very different kinds of music depending on the tone he wants to achieve. He would scare the actors. He would make them jump. He, I mean, actually there, were, there are three or four <laughs> very fun moments with, uh, with uh, Franklin. You could easily scare him. And Jay had real, real fun doing that. And we got really gen genuine moments out of that. But at the same time, he wants uh, to create a specific mood on the set, not only for the actors, but also for the rest of the crew, because it, it gives a different energy to what he does. So it's true that it's, it's a very intense experience to be with Jay on the set.